it's time for animation. We will start with the simplest animation, standing. As you can see, I've opened the default file where everything is already set. I will use save as and create a new file because this one will be for the other animations and I don't want to change it. So go to file, select save as and create a new file with a new name. Click save. In case if I make mistake, I can always get back to the default file. So let's start with the first animation. These are the instructions that will make the process of animation so easy. I will first animate the front arm. I always start with the red points first. First, create keyframe for the current position on the red point. After selecting the layer front arm, I will press P on the keyboard for position settings of layer. Then I will create keyframes on the red positions. One is on the first frame, the other is on the last. In the middle of animation I have an arrow pointing up, which means I need to rise the arm a bit on the frame. I will do the same with the back arm. The hands are finished. It is important that the first and the last frame match because that way everything will go smoothly and you will have a good look. After that, I will move the front leg slightly to the left and the back leg to the right. They will be on that position the whole time. Now I will animate the central body. I will create one keyframe for the position on the first and one on the last frame. In the middle of the animation, I will slightly lower the body. The animation looks like this. It's already cool. I still have to animate the eyebrows and the tail. I will click on the eyebrows and follow the instruction. I will create a keyframe at the beginning and the end. And also slightly rise the eyebrow in the middle. The next is the tail, but I will press R for rotation instead of P for position. You can see now in which case you should use rotated and in which position. This time I will create keyframes using rotate at the beginning and the end. I will rotate the tail in the middle for 10%. Our hero finally standing on the ground, which means this part of the course is over. As you can see, it's very easy. That's why we are immediately continuing with the other hero's movements.